So we were working with two-way tables again today. The two-way tables we've been working with lately are called two-way frequency tables because the numbers in them show you the frequency in which we had responses for them. So in other words, each of these is how many people responded with this combination. Today, we started working with two-way relative frequency tables. So relative frequency basically is a fancy term for saying a percent because we want to know the frequency of a certain combination relative to a total. So there are three different kinds of two-way relative frequency tables we can make. One of them is a relative frequency table based on the total surveyed. And in this case, with our data here, we know there were 76 total kids surveyed. So if we want to know, or we want to fill out this table based on the total 76 students who were surveyed, we just take each one of these numbers, for example 37, and divide it by the total 76. So luckily I have a calculator right here. So 37 divided by 76 gets me about 48.7 percent. So I know about 48 0.7% of all the kids who were surveyed, uh, or all the people who were surveyed, have kids and have pets. And if I want this one, no kids and have pets, I'll do 9 divided by the total of 76 total people surveyed. I get about 11.8%. And then for no pets and has kids, 15 out of 76, which is about... 19.7% and then since this is the same as that one 15 out of 76 is 19.7% and if you do this right because these are all the different possible answers people could give these four should add up to a hundred percent or very close depending on the rounding it might be off by a little bit all right so that's the relative frequency based on the total surveyed. But that's not the only way we could do this. Here's another type. Relative frequency of pets based on having kids. So since we're basing it on having kids, we are looking at the table vertically. So our percentages are going to be out of the total of each column. For example, if they have kids and have pets, there's 37 of them out of, to out of a total of 52 people people who have kids. So I'm going to use 37 divided by 52. I get about 71.2 percent. And 15 have no pets out of 52. So 15 divided by 52, about 28.8 percent. And if you notice, this column should add up to 100% or really close based on, you know, rounding. All right, now let's do the other column. So no kids. You notice nine have no kids and pets out of 24 are total people who have no kids. So it's going to be nine divided by 24, which in this case will be about 37.5%. And then 15 out of 24 have no pets. So that's 62.5%. And again, this column should add up to 100%. And look, it does. All right. Now the third type of relative frequency table we could make is instead of reading it vertically, we could read it horizontally and have it based on how many pets, oh, having pets or not. So if you look at this first row, having pets, there's a total of 46, and 37 of them have kids, so it's going to be 37 out of 46, which is about 80.4%. And out of the 46, 9 have no kids, so 9 out of 46, about 19.6%. And if you notice, the row adds up to 100%. For the second row, no pets. 15 out of 30, I don't need a calculator for that, that's 50%. 15 out of 30, 50%, and look, 
this adds up to 100%. So, those are the three different two-way tables we can make just from looking at the data. And it all has to do with how you look at it. Do you look at the data as a whole? And then each place in your table is one thing? Or are we looking at them in rows? Or are we looking at them in columns?